Hello and welcome to UFO sightings footage. If you're the guy with thoughts outside of the box, if you're the person with deep, thoughtful and intricate meanings through positive thinking, prayers and or meditation, then you're the person we want to reach and tell our story. We have a long-standing belief here at UFO sightings footage that is somewhat and maybe to the unfamiliar a bit strange or definitely real thoughts from outside the box. We believe that in 2012 specifically on the 21st December we all died in an instant and we all was transported into another dimension. No one felt it, saw it and no one remembered it. But. When we say died it's a figure of speech. Basically we just instantaneously ceased to exist in one reality that we were all born in, lived in and was supposed to die in. But in an instant we was all transported even the fabric of space time and everything we can see. It all instantaneously ceased to exist in the original reality but still existed within another reality and within that one we exploited the lag in near real-time reality, to then keep it open at our will via the LHC or CERN which is the Large Hadron Collider. Energy, Particles and Speed. These are the keys. Immortality or the ability to live forever, like the immortal jellyfish is not supposed for individual people but the reality itself. If you believe in reincarnation then you need reality to live, right? Humans have well and totally lifted the veil of secrecy and that secrecy is reality jumping to stop us ceasing to exist. Keeping one step ahead of the inevitable collapse of reality. The Mayans predicted it. Leonardo da Vinci couldn't invent machines past the 20th and very early 21st century because it doesn't go further than that in that old reality. That's why he never drew any spaceships or science type stuff. He couldn't see that far because it didn't go that far. The same is with Nostradamus. How can you predict the future if it doesn't go that far? CERN or the Large Hadron Collider is the experiment at the heart of this conspiracy theory. Most significant inventions have come from CERN scientists in the past we can remember, did you know that? If you check upon what has been attributed to being invented at CERN or the Large Hadron Collider you will be blown away. Do you see the internet you're on right now, yep that came from CERN. It was a British guy at CERN who invented it. We've had thoughts on time travel and the experiments to move the whole planet, universe and reality from one reality to another. Basically what we mean is this, if you have a solid stone in one hand and another in the other hand. You cannot put the other one in the exact same spot in your hand. They both inhabit its own unique GPS coordinates. But as CERN or the LHC scientists have already admitted to us all, they have recreated a black hole right here on Earth under controlled conditions which in effect is another reality or reality number two which means they opened a reality within this one which is reality number one and this is the mythical Pandora's box in all its glory. A paradox, Pandora's box, they sound very similar. It has doomed us to constantly having to keep jumping from one reality to another just because two realities cannot exist in the same reality therefore reality around each other starts to deteriorate and collapse so we keep stocking up on energy all the time just to release it in an instant to push us into the next reality. That's our theory here at UFO sightings footage. What do you think about this theory? That's all it is and you know what? We only have a limited degree of knowledge about realities, energies and experiments that are done or carried out or experimented on at CERN which is soon getting an upgrade to a FCC which means Futuristic Circular Collider. That experiment machine is going to be the biggest ever attempted machine ever and it is going to be 80 to 100 kilometers long. That is huge. The current Large Hadron Collider is 17 kilometers long which stood next to the new one will be a tiny fraction of its size. CERN scientists don't really do little or small scale experiments. They go all out and do experiments that can literally tear open this planet in two pieces and if they wanted to, they can recreate a black hole and even though it is tiny so they say, it could still swallow up the whole planet Earth in one gulp. Even a black hole must have started with a tiny black hole unless it just instantaneously materialized out of thin space as big as it ever would get. 
the Large Hadron Collider is a massive conspiracy theory unto itself. Many, many conspiracies have gotten their roots there and will never go away unless the Mandela Effect takes hold and changes our memories surrounding the Large Hadron Collider and we lose knowledge about CERN, LHC? Again, more conspiracies just who's from there. If you look up the statue they were given by India to the Large Hadron Collider which is a statue of the goddess Shiva the goddess of chaos and destruction. Well, it seems like the scientists thought it was a great thing to perform an actual sacrifice in front of the statue. I mean what is going on there right? Just look it up about CERN and sacrifices? The dance of symmetry and the Gothard tunnel performance also? Very creepy and very wrong stuff being done at CERN. The Large Hadron Collider scientists even declared that they had found God. The God particle. Well how big is a particle? They must have found the opposite as well. The Satan particle? Who the heck would want to work at CERN, not me? Not with all that type of things going on there or stuff that's attributed to CERN? We found some very informative information about the 2012 supposed apocalypse that we think really did happen. Here's what one source from the internet had to say about the reality swap 2012. The 2012 phenomenon was a range of eschatological beliefs that cataclysmic or otherwise transformative events would occur on or around December 21, 2012. This date was regarded as the end date of a 5,126-year-long cycle in the Mesoamerican Long Count Calendar, and as such, festivities to commemorate the date took place on December 21, 2012 in the countries that were part of the Maya civilization, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, with main events at Chicken Tza in Mexico, and Tikal in Guatemala. Various astronomical alignments and numerological formulae were proposed as pertaining to this date. A New Age interpretation held that the date marked the start of a period during which Earth and its inhabitants would undergo a positive physical or spiritual transformation, and that December 21, 2012 would mark the beginning of a new era. Others suggested that the date marked the end of the world or a similar catastrophe. Scenarios suggested for the end of the world included the arrival of the next solar maximum, an interaction between Earth and the black hole at the center of the galaxy, or Earth's collision with a planet called Nibiru. Scholars from various disciplines quickly dismissed predictions of concomitant cataclysmic events as they arose. Professional Mayanist scholars stated that no extant classic Maya accounts forecast impending doom, and that the idea that the long count calendar ends in 2012 misrepresented Maya history and culture, while astronomers rejected the various proposed doomsday scenarios as pseudoscience, easily refuted by elementary astronomical observations. It then goes on to say this which is most interesting because it refers at the end not just to the planet Earth but the universe. There is a strong tradition of world ages in Maya literature, but the record has been distorted, leaving several different possibilities open to interpretation. We are putting strong emphasis on interpretation because that's what it is at the end of the day, just an interpretation and even that is based on if the whole thing is correct anyways. It could all be wrong therefore anything that comes from it is wrong. It also went on to say this. According to the Papal view, a compilation of the creation accounts of the Keech Maya of the colonial era highlands, we are living in the fourth world. The Papal view describes the gods first creating three failed worlds, followed by a successful fourth world in which humanity was placed. In the Maya long count, the previous world ended after 13 bactuns, or roughly 5,125 years. The long count is zero date was set at a point in the past marking the end of the third world and the beginning of the current one, which corresponds to 11th of August 3114 BC in the proleptic Gregorian calendar. This means that the fourth world reached the end of its 13th bactun or Maya date 13.0.0.0.0, on December 21, 2012. In 1957, 
Mayanist and astronomer Maud Worcester Makemson wrote that the completion of a great period of 13 Bactans would have been of the utmost significance to the Maya. In 1966, Michael D. Co. wrote in the Maya that there is a suggestion that Armageddon would overtake the degenerate peoples of the world and all creation on the final day of the 13th, Bactan. Thus our present universe would be annihilated when the great cycle of the long count reaches completion. There will be links in the description to the sources of inspiration that compelled us to write this whole story. We thought most of this a long time ago but recently we have felt compelled to get it all down on video so it's there and not just in our thoughts. It's a good thing to have thoughts outside the box and have genuine thoughts that are different to others because it's this that stimulates conversation and that then gives rise to research and this then turns out to be either right or possible or not right at all because of other things. You get the picture right? Thank you for checking us out and watching this this video, cheers! As always, you guys tell us what you think about all this and the theory that we all died in the year 2012. This is UFO sightings footage saying peace.